You know, we've had a lot of people in from Canada recently. Well, we've got something different tonight. People from Malta. <laughs> I don't know much about it either, boy, but... Well, I know they love fancy shoes. <laughs> I think that might be their national dress. <laughs> anyway, you check them out and I'll be right over. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> All right. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and uh, where you're from. Lara, from Malta. And? Chris, from Malta. I see, Lara and Chris. Are you a couple? Yeah. I see. <laughs> and what are you doing here in Los Angeles, California? It's a vacation. On holiday. On holiday. Are you married? No. Not yet. No! We've been together 12 years. Just resign yourself to your fate, man. <laughs> it's good, man. It'd be all right. It'd be cool. You can still have shoes. You can still have your shoes. <laughs> Unfortunately, for him, he's been with me since he was 16 and I was 15, so. Oh. <laughs> well, we got a name for that kind of behavior in the United States. Anyway, uh, are you having a nice time here? Yeah. yeah oh, so. good, good. Have you been surfing? Not, Not yet. yet. <laughs> Not yet? <laughs> What have you been doing? Because we arrived yesterday. Oh, good. Yeah. From Malta? No, no, from Vegas. <laughs> from Vegas. We're you were in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. What is Malta like? I don't know anything about Malta. Is That's it? a small island in the Mediterranean. Very sunny. Very sunny? Yeah, yeah. yeah beautiful there. Yeah. Beautiful, lovely island in the yeah. Mediterranean. What, yeah. the what are you doing here, man? <laughs> <right? laughs> excuse me, sorry. That, it sound, it's not what it sounded like. That's actually a Maltese word. <laughs> Is it Maltese? Do you say Maltese? Yeah. yeah. So if you say someone's from Malta, you say you are Maltese. Yeah, exactly. Not Malteser. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did, did that, that gets old, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you did, you were good. You went. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> You're gonna need that once you get married. <laughs> uh, where are we sending them? <laughs> Master Steakhouse of Beverly Hills. We're gonna send wow. you there. <laughs> and. Do you guys, uh, you, like to, you like to drink? No, yeah. we don't drink. Oh, you don't drink? Sometimes. Sometimes, a little. <laughs> I think I'll need to. Yeah. I think I'm going to need to now. <laughs> Just resign yourself to your pain, man. <laughs> So anyway, you're going to, and it's great that you're here tonight because this is the big Maltese edition of the show. <laughs> Sponsored by Advil, the pain reliever that's built to be as fast as it is strong. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Entirely believable cheer when I came out. That was. It was really good. Really. Oh my good. God! It's yeah. when they do this and their eyes are dead. When you go like that, and you see them go. Ah! <laughs> <You> can... <laughs> right, like that. Just exactly like that. 
Turn your eyes on. It creeps me out when you turn Sorry, your eyes man. on. Give me that 10. Give me that 10. Yeah. It's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. It's a big birthday today. Big birthday. Yeah, that's enough. Thanks. <laughs> it's a big birthday. It's a great day for the World Wide Web. Do you know what that is, Jeff? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, 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 it's the internet. It turns 25 today. You know who else celebrates a birthday today? Ron Jeremy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, Ron Jeremy and the internet, very different, of course. One is responsible for most Americans looking at porn and has infected millions with viruses over the years. And the other one is? The World Wide Web. The World Web. Wide Web. There you are. Yeah. Happy birthday, everyone. Yeah. Jeremy. And <laughs> There's quite a lot of people who are like, I don't know who Ron Jeremy is. And I'm like, oh, yes, you do. You'd recognize him if you saw him. He'd, he'd give me 10 if I walked out yeah, here, he wouldn't would. he? Yeah, he would. Anyway, happy birthday to the web. Do we have a graphic for the web's birthday? Come on. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, it's the web's birthday. Whatever you do, don't send it an e-card. Even the World Wide Web hates e-cards. Nothing says, I don't give a rat's ass about you like an e-card. <laughs> oh, yeah, happy birthday, send. Ah. On this day, 25 years ago, Al Gore, because he invented the web. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Al Gore said, yeah. I say, I say, look, Tipper, I can get porn on the high fidelity. <laughs> That's my Al Gore. That's very good. Thank you. Very good. Now, the web was invented by a British programmer, Tim Berners-Lee. He said he first, uh, the first time he saw a web page, you know, load up, he realized, my God, this is what's going to define the next 20 years of my life. Exactly the same thing I said when I saw the first episode of Downton Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Berners-Lee was knighted by Queen Elizabeth in 2004 as a, a, you know, that's proper for the inventor of something like the web. He was knighted with a replica sword from Minecraft and in our... <laughs> you play the Minecraft? Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, sure. What's your favorite part of Minecraft? <laughs> the one that looks like Ron Jeremy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I think that's a different Minecraft. Oh, I'm sorry, than I'm sorry about that. Anyway, in her proclamation, the Queen lauded Berners-Lee for developing a system that, and I quote, revolutionized mankind's ability to sell useless crap. <laughs> like Prince Charles. Yeah. <laughs> the web has changed our lives, you know. It's impossible for kids to imagine, but in the old days, you actually had to go to the mall and watch old people fall down escalators in person. <laughs> There was no YouTube back then, so you had to act it out for your friends. You were like, hey, I'm falling down the stairs. Those were dark times, dark, yet hilarious. <laughs> and before the web, most people had encyclopedias in their home that were packed full of the, you know, something that the internet still struggles to produce. What is that thing called again, Jeff? Uh, truth. Truth, yeah. <laughs> because freedom of information also means freedom of misinformation. Today's web is a cesspool of partisanship, rumors, and blatant disregard for the truth. Kind of like NBC or Fox News, depending on your political preference. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, but a lot of the information uh, is wrong on the web. For example, on the IMDb website, it says I'm 51 years old, which is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just like you kids, an American born in 1981. <laughs> and they refuse to change that. Oh, well, like we millennials, millennials, is that what we call it? Millennials, yeah. that's, <laughs> what do we always say? We say, uh, YOLO be cray cray. Yeah, that's, that's what we always say, yeah. <laughs> ah, I don't care. Yeah, man. it doesn't matter. Screw it. It's all right. Can I say that? It's the web's birthday. That's a special thing. Racist, racist, you are a man. Racist, just man. racist. You are just. You sit there all night with your little headset on, like you're selling encyclopedias, just like uh, yeah, I hate Scottish people. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. That's it. I quit. No, no, I over. quit. I quit. That's it. Well, hey, man. Like you always say, YOLO be cray cray. YOLO be cray cray. <laughs> we'll be right back.
question. If I hit the ball through the barn door and the door closes, knocking the ball out, that's still technically a goal, That's still right? a goal. That is still a goal. Yeah, because, no, if that happens in an actual game, if a door is in front of the goal, that would be illegal. That's illegal. There's no door in front of There's the goal. There's no door in front of the goal. You don't, you know nothing about soccer, man. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the big uh, Maltese edition of the uh, show. Yeah, yeah. What? Jeff! Jeff, you've, uh, you've spent a lot of time in Malta, haven't you? I sure have. I what, sure have. What did you do when you were there? I uh, ran a small uh, beverage store in uh, Malta. <laughs> what small beverages did you sell? Yeah, all kinds of uh, liquors, various forms of liquids and such. <laughs> Which town in Malta were you in? The, uh, Schlemitzburg. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very small town. It is. It's yeah. very small. Yeah. Schlemitzburg? Schlemitzburg, yeah. Yeah, look that up on your uh, Tweety box, will you? <laughs> That'll keep him busy. Now we can cuss for oh, the next good, ten good, minutes. Yeah. Right, all right. Uh, what time is it, Jeff? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who went viral long before the Internet. <laughs> Play the jingle, would you? Twitter! Tweet, tweet, tweet. Twitter. Chicken Vindaloo is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than Mahatma Gandhi. And email. And Uh, this is from Taylor in uh, Montesano in Washington. You ever been there? Montesano, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the place. You remember Montesano? That's yeah. the place we went to the small beverage store. Yeah, the tiny, tiny one. Very small. Yeah, yeah. it reminded me of it that other time. What was it named? It was Schlenitzburg. Schlenitzburg, sure. Taylor says, uh, Craig, how many pairs of socks do you own? I can't... How the... Ooh la la! Am I meant to know that? Yeah. How many pairs of socks do I own? Uh, How many pairs of socks do you own? I, I don't uh, wear socks. I don't wear socks. How many pairs of socks they own? Except maybe hobos, because the answer is one. <laughs> one pair of socks. One pair of socks. One pair. <laughs> I got one pair of socks and some beans. <laughs> that sounds. Uh, that sounds like fun, actually. I like. Well, a pair of socks and some sure, beans. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> As a lifestyle choice, I'm just saying. I don't know, man. I, that's, I, I don't know how many pairs of socks I own. Th thousands. You should really keep track of that stuff, man. No, I know, because someone could be pilfering my socks and I wouldn't even know. A sock pilfering. You know, uh, what is that thing when they call the... Uh, you take your sock out of the dryer and it's stuck to another item of clothing. That's like a static... Uh, static cling, cling yeah, right? right? Static right. cling. Sure, and, when the, sure. and they were trying to make that thing. Do you remember that in commercials? It was like, oh, no, static cling. Uh-oh. Who cares about that? <laughs> like, oh, you have to buy a different uh, set of detergent to, right. to stop that? Because if that happens, all you have to do is do that. <laughs> it's not like, well, what are we going to do now? I, that's, that's my only sock. <laughs> This is on television right now. I'm tired of the emails. I wish there was some other form of communication where people could get in touch and you could actually... Uh-oh, oh, what's going on? Hello, who is it? Uh, it's uh, Bill from the uh, FCC. <laughs> you're new. Yeah, uh, hey, uh... <laughs> Are you trying? Is this something new you're trying, Bill, uh, from just, the FCC? Just, just cool your jets, Mr. Ferguson. I just want you to know, uh, me and the guys are going on a lunch break, so feel free to do whatever you want. So what you're saying is, for the next few moments, the show will be completely unmonitored by people from the FCC. Yeah, we're heading right out the door, so you go ahead, have fun, take your pants off, whatever you want to do. <laughs> don't let that racist over there tell you what to do, because I said it's okay. <laughs> Is there anyone else there that can corroborate this story? Perhaps a celebrity? Sure, hold on a second. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this is so weird. Morgan Freeman is Morgan there. Morgan Freeman? Just a second. There. Wow. He, he watches my, my place when I'm gone. Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, hello, it's Morgan Freeman. Ah, hi, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> so you work for the FCC? Yeah, just hanging out here with my friends. It's something I do uh, just uh, as a hobby. <laughs> I'm having a hard time believing this. Are there any other celebrities there, Morgan Freeman, sure, that can corroborate sure. your story? Uh, well, look at that. Matthew McConaughey is here. That's <laughs> unbelievable. 
Well, all right, all right. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. He's a very funny man. He's a comedy genius. He's uh, season two of the show. Derek is on Netflix on uh, May, and he's in Muppets Most Wanted. Woo! Yeah. Muppets Most Wanted. Muppets Most Wanted. It's in theaters March the 21st. Take a look at this. <laughs> Ricky Gervais, everybody. Ricky Gervais. They love you. It's the Muppet effect. It's, it's already weird. What the Muppet? Yeah, it's yeah. Lo a lovely, smart. I mean, they're obviously clearly on drugs, but a lovely, <laughs> crazy audience. There's what's that? A horse? That's a, it's, it's not a real horse. Well, some no, of it's no. a horse, Seriously. and some of it's just regular people. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's a skeleton. Yeah. Come on, man. Don't act like you don't know me. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he doesn't know you, man. Yeah, what the hell? He's just playing, man. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you. Cheers, man. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Good stuff. Great parting, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you? You must be used to working with animatronics now with the, uh, you got the, uh, what's his name? Puppets, the Kermits and the, uh, <laughs> and the Mrs. Piggy. You and... were up all night researching Oh, this, yeah, man. I, <laughs> I, I, I Googled it. Crikey. How are you, man? <laughs> No, I, think, I, I love the Muppets. I, we used to this have chair is so uncomfortable. Really? I don't want to be... I, honestly, I'm, it's great to be here, and I love you, man, but this is... Uh, that's more is like that it. any better? Yeah, that's more like it, yeah. Right, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Do you want me to sit there? Would that be cool? It's yeah, fine, it's fine. It's just it was making me sit upright. Oh, no, don't you don't want, want to... I don't want you to be uncomfortable. I like I, to slouch. Well, I, I'll have a slouch. Yeah, OK. <laughs> just, well, what's going on here? What's going on here? Let's that's go, my... Let's, why, are you fa why are you facing that towards me? I'm facing it towards you yeah. because you subconsciously asked me to face yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're sure no, you, <laughs> you're the king. You're oh, all right, all right. You're, well, welcome all to right, my show. <laughs> and, and, and who's in charge? Oh, right. All right, all right. Okay. let's start again. All okay, right, let's, let's start, start again. again. Right, let's start again. Hi, I'm... Ricky. <laughs> How are you, dear? I'm not too bad, actually. Oh, hey. <laughs> No, the Muppets, that's awesome, man. That's a I've, show business rate of passage. I've loved the Muppets for about 35 years, genuinely. I used to watch them at home um, in England. And, uh, uh, You're from England? I am from England. <laughs> Near you. This. Very, when, yeah. when did this come up? Um, we, um, you you know, probably know the, the bit that we own a bit of the top called Scotland. No. You don't? <laughs> do you know, do you know when, 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 uh, when Russell Brand was here, he said, Scotland, he said, Scotland is the Canada of England. I said, no, my friend, England is the Mexico of Scotland. Yes. <laughs> but it's just a matter of perspective, man. It's just it's whatever you think. I, lo I love Scotland. I love yeah, Scotland. I like it, too. I, I've, I've... I like right. England too. I've had I, lots of nice times. I, I used love to live there. I like Scotland. Mm. I love everywhere in the world because wherever you go, people are all the same. <laughs> it's not easy being green. Oh, I see. Um, You've been muppified, dude. I've been muppified. No, I, I love the Muppets and um, uh, I love doing this film. And uh, my new favourite Muppet is Constantine, an evil Russian frog. <laughs> this sounds good. I had my favourite was Peppy. Oh, I love Pepe. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I first met, I hadn't met Pepe before. Obviously, I know of him from the movies. Right. I met him on set, and I said, um, so are you a prawn? He went, king prawn. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I said, what's the difference? He said, it's all about the size, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He great. likes to talk about the ladies. Yeah, 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 yeah. He 
hasn't been here for a while. No, he's making movies now, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's still down to earth, though. Yeah. Well, he's a, he's a prawn. He's a prawn. Yeah. He's a prawn. King prawn. King prawn, yeah, King sorry, prawn. it's all about the size, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you live here now? Do you live in America now? Or no, I still live in um, London and a bit, a bit in New York, and uh, uh, I, um, I come this way, west. When you say you come this way, what, what do you exactly mean by that? <laughs> when, you, when you say, I come this way, <laughs> now you did that with your hand. Was that a thing? You want to be it. You want to be a psychiatrist. Oh, yeah, you? all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, good. What? Uh, uh, yeah, no. What, you just had a pipe there? Yeah, yeah, the pipe. Right. <laughs> when I'm performing psychotherapy, okay. do you... Okay. Yeah, 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 all right. Yeah. Now, relax. Show me you're the king. Show me, show me. There you are. All right. <laughs> so, you, you're, you're a real doctor, yeah? Well, as much as... Yes, in the way that Dr. Phil is well, a real uh, doctor, yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> or, or Dr. Dre. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I had a dream last night, Doctor. Really? Yes, I was, I, was, I was on a train and I was going in and out of the tunnel and the tunnel was telling me, it was my, had my mummy's voice. And, and then my, the, tr the train driver was my daddy and he, and he spilt milk all over me. <laughs> hmm. is, that, is that anything to worry about? <laughs> that goes this. <laughs> right right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sis, this is a very common dream. It means you are you are frightened of the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> are you in therapy? I, I get it once a week. It's awesome. No. Oh, you should. Why? Because you're a bit, you know, weird. You're a bit cray cray. Yeah. No, I'm one of those people that thinks I just I just get better. You know what I mean? If oh, I, you mean you'd get better and you wouldn't be able to work? Yeah. Yeah. If I go to therapy, I'd, I'd also have to I'd have to tell them about the bodies I've hidden. Crikey. Like that, and then they have to tell the police and stuff. No, so. th no, they're not allowed to oh, tell really? the police. No, you, you, oh, really? Yeah, right, no, then. it's, it's yeah, protected okay. under the Constitution. <laughs> you don't know anything. <laughs> you don't, you're guessing. Look, you, you've got all your information from Dexter and The Sopranos. <laughs> you don't know anything. <laughs> you, you don't no, know. no, man, it's true. <laughs> no, it's not true. It is, it is. If you went to a psychiatrist and said, <laughs> oh, I, I, I've just, uh, just dumped a body, I've cut his uh, legs and arms off and I've popped them in your bin. I'll see you later, mate. Cheers. Right. They wouldn't go, ooh, I can't tell anyone. They'd call the police. <laughs> No, no, not me. If I was a therapist, I'd be like, can I see it? Yeah. <laughs> if I was a therapist, I'd be in the pub going, there's one bloke, he's mental. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I go, there he is. Come over here, tell me that thing about your mum. Yeah, that thing about your mum. I think they do that. I think they, uh, have they must do. No, of course, they get yeah. together in little covens yeah. and then yeah, they exactly, are. Yeah. Like, oh, I've got a guy that thinks a train going in and out of a tunnel exactly. and he's got his. Yeah. Dad's the train driver. Go on, do Pete Jackson. <laughs> That's brilliant. They all they clap and everything. They, they make fun of people behind their back and. I don't. No, no. I've changed my mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think they take it very seriously. Yeah, any psychiatrist. In. We'd like to apologise to the psychiatrists of America. I, I'd like to apologise to TV. <laughs> well, I have to say, you're doing it on the wrong show. <laughs> but I take your point. Man, you got in it's a trouble. It's funny, because out there, we went, let's make this the best show ever, and we both decided to go the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But, see, that's comedy, though. Yeah, that's exactly. a, that's we comedy. zig when you zag, bitches. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hmm. I'd like to say, I sometimes zig when I zag as well. <laughs> this is perfectly normal. We'll take a commercial right. break. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll <laughs> I'm here with Ricky Gervais, who's uh, terribly rude, but we'll get through it. I, uh... This is so relaxed. Well, nobody's watching. No. Uh, <laughs> no, I asked uh, your um, producer what time this goes out tonight, and he said 12.30. I went, that's not even tonight. No, it's... <laughs> that's tomorrow. Yeah, we... This show goes out tomorrow. Tonight's it's... show goes out tomorrow. It used to be called The Tomorrow Show. Did it? <laughs> Yeah, no. I think when, when Tom Snyder did it in New York, it was called The Tomorrow Show because it was on tomorrow. I couldn't keep track, though. No, I didn't know what you were doing today's or yesterday's. Do you watch Doctor Who? I don't know. <laughs> Killed that one, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was there. That was, there. Is that, was that really all you had? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 
No, no, I'm also a Gryffindor. Good. <laughs> that tie is pointing. That's what ties do, that's what they're for. Is it really? Yeah, that's what... I thought, like, necklaces do that to cleavage. Yeah, yeah, that necklaces are like, here's my boobies, and ties are like, yeah. guess what this is? Yeah, but, but, but according to Desmond Morris, boobies are meant to be your arse cheeks. That's what it's saying, it's going right, to my arse cheeks. Right. But why, why, why would you want one with arse cheeks there? That's odd. Well, no, it's to, to represent the arse cheeks. Yeah, but cheeks. why? Th we know where the arse is, it's a completely different direction. Stop doing that with your finger. <laughs> I'm a doctor! Uh, well, all right, then. Oh, he's falling for that one again. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do that. You're the same age as me. You have to do that now. Yeah. Yeah, I've had it, I've I get done, it done as often as yeah, I can. Yeah, I've done about four or five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not have you, have my you had doctors. The, have you had the camera? No. The, no well, you've the, got to have the camera. No, I just... I've done that. I've no. done the finger, and it's, it's unpleasant. It's unpleasant for him as well. I mean, he, try, he doesn't think when he chats. Like, you know, like you're to... So, how, how's it going? I yeah, know, how's yeah. work? Yeah. I just want to get, get it over with, yeah. yeah. And it's just it's still, still awkward. You know what Once, you... right? Yeah. Um, I was having a... Uh, I do a yearly check-up, right, about, and he, he had to test my testicles, right? So... <laughs> no, he had to. That it wasn't just for fun. He had to, right? <laughs> so, so, um, I was standing like that, my trousers down, and he was sitting down, which was already weird. Mm. He got way... <laughs> no, don't you think that's weird? He got comfortable, right? And, um... And, uh, and I'm, I know, wait, wait, wait. So, so I'm sort of nervous. I'm always nervous and I talk too much. I, one doctor had to tell me to shut up when he was trying to listen to my heart. He said, you have to shut up. Right, so, I'm, you know, right? But I'm nervous. And I, and I said something like, he was feeling, he said, okay. I said, what are you actually feeling for there? Right? And because I interrupted him, instead of going, I'm just feeling like, he went, he went, well, I'm, and I, so I'm there, naked, <laughs> and now he's not even doing anything. He's just chatting to me. <laughs> Are you sure this is a doctor it we're was talking about? Yeah. yeah. Was he dressed as a doctor? He was dressed as a doctor. Not yeah. a sailor, was, not no, a he was, he was, that. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think? Oh, at the YMCA reunion. <laughs> but, yeah. but, come on in for your checkup. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it is awkward, but you've got to get it done. You've got to oh, get yeah, it done. no, uh, help. You've got to get it done now. You've got to get it done yeah, now, well, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Go right. on out somewhere tonight. <laughs> You'll find someone. <laughs> Well, we're out of time. Right? <laughs> so, um... OK, this, this might be the best chat show ever. Oh, it is. It might be. Yeah. 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 Deconstructing. Deconstructing. Yeah. It's, uh, <coughs> I, 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 it's cos we share the same high standard. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, wow. wow. It's amazing fun. You do this every day? Sometimes. That is amazing. <laughs> And you get paid. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's your. <laughs> oh, God. Don't, don't tempt the fates. That's brilliant. Uh, awkward pause or meditation? What do you mean? Well, that's how we end. Awkward pause or meditation. Or you could. Always, uh, all, always awkward pause. <clears throat> okay. Shall I tell a joke, a punchline of a joke that just falls flat and everyone just goes quiet and it just fades out? No, we did that in the monologue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So just an uh, awkward pause. Let's layer in a little bit of sexual tension. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I'll just go. Um, why didn't I say? Why didn't I say? To, um, uh, uh, okay. Well, I'll. Um, I'll go in for the. I, I, I won't know what to do, so I'll say goodbye to my doctor. But I just lean in, and you go. What are you doing? I go, oh, sorry. Like I, I was confused. Like. Okay. Okay. Thanks very much, doctor. Oh. So, sorry. <laughs> Do you mind if I masturbate? was so good yesterday, I invited her to be back on the show today. She's in a terrific show called The Walking Dead. Now, don't, don't confuse that show with The Walking Dad. 
Which is what they wrote up in the little sign for me to read. That she was in a show called The Walking Dad. I'm like, oh, that show. And you kids stay of your room. <laughs> Anybody done their homework? <laughs> the Walking Dead was very different. That's on its Sundays on, in the AMC. Uh, Lauren Cohen, everybody. Lauren Cohen. Thank you so much for coming back on the show, <laughs> right again, like quickly. Thank you so much. I was kind of scared I was going to have a sophomore album. You know, like your second album, you have a band and they release this great record. And then, and then the second the album one. is like, like... I don't know. But then I thought, nah, Craig won't let me down. <laughs> French fries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> but you know what happened was you very graciously said you would come back because we loved you so much. And then Kristen Ritter, who was supposed to be on the show tonight, um, uh, has uh, disappeared. Oh, no. <laughs> no, she's, uh, she's ill. Okay. She's ill. I thought you were going to say has dislocated something. She has. She <laughs> has dislocated her leg. <laughs> No, she has. I think she's got the flu. Anyway, it's something ghastly. How do yes. you feel? Are you all right? I feel, I feel well. All yeah, right. I'm all located. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> hey, now, I think you came back because you were raised by a Scottish, a Glaswegian I, uh, mother. Yes. From this, have you talked to her since you were here last Yes, and she said, you have to say I'm from Newton Mairns. Oh, that's the posh part of Glasgow. Oh, that's, she made, she wanted to make sure I said Yeah, that. it's very posh. <laughs> that's like saying, oh, yeah, I'm from the hood. And then you go, which part? And you say, Beverly Hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yeah. very different thing. Newton Mairns is absolutely lovely. They See, talk I like this. It. They do. <laughs> because they've got lots of money. And they love to talk about it. Yeah, do you do a good Scottish accent? No, apparently not. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, it, it, no, it's good. But I was thinking of how bad my Irish accent is because you and Ricky were talking about your bums and your Did nether Did we? I think it might have come up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought the only accent I do worse than a Scottish is an Irish accent. And I only know that because I know a really bad Irish joke, which nobody ever laughs at. Let's see if it... Okay. <laughs> So Paddy goes to the doctor. And well, he no, no, no. Paddy, well. Paddy's the uh, Irish fellow. Paddy's the, the Irish fellow. Right, I see. Um, well, we uh, just assume that we know this man. <laughs> yeah. He's Irish. He's. You, yesterday he was here. Right. He's really here. So, <laughs> he goes to the doctor and he doesn't feel well. I just want to stop no, already. No, no, no. no I don't no, want to do it. All oh, right, so an Irishman goes to the doctor. <laughs> yes, and right. his name is Paddy. Right. But it could be different. Well, should we change it? Yes, let's call him uh, Colin. Okay, right. Colin goes to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Well, Colin actually is really healthy. I know him. <laughs> but anyway, we're... Okay, All right, well, so he's just going for a checkup, though, okay. isn't he? Okay, yes. Right, yes. there you are, then. But his, it's not his... the doctor that, that Ricky saw that had the... It's a doctor that goes, that inspects your nether regions. Oh. Yes, so he goes So he's there. in Holland, then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so his name is, is, is Yun. Dr. Yoon. Dr. Yoon? Okay. Dr. Yoon. Dr. Stephen Yoon. <laughs> Dr. Stephen Yoon. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he goes to the doctor and he doesn't feel well and the doctor says, um, I think the problem is in your bum. And he says, would you mind checking? And, um, and no, he says, doctor, doctor, would you mind checking it out and seeing what's up there? It's like and we were in Ireland there when you did that. <laughs> that was great. And he says, You should um, do that in The Walking Dad. <laughs> <laughs> in The Walking My Two Dads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and he says, um, well, bend over and I'll check. And he checks and he goes, oh, doctor, I can feel like there's something in there. And so the doctor pulls and he pulls some money out and he finds a 20 pound note. And then he goes, doctor, there's loads more. Keep going. So the doctor keeps pulling and he pulls out all these 20 pound notes. And then he says, Paddy, I think I've got it. Uh, Colin, yes. none. I think I've got it all. Do you want me to count it? And he counts it and it's 1,980 1, pounds. And, and Colin Paddy says, I Bollocks. I wasn't feeling too grand. <laughs> See, isn't it the worst that, joke you No, ever that, said? no. <clears throat> no, I, I think it's a really good joke. You know, I have to be honest with you, some nights I have trouble following the show myself, and I wonder if other people do. This show or a different show you're watching? 
You make a fair point. <laughs> which shows? Which shows do you have difficulty watching? Um, that show about um, th all those people. See, it's difficult to even remember how it goes. All oh, right, yeah, the one with the uh, the Beverly Hills Housewives of Beverly Hills. Yes, and and then all the cats that are in that show. It never makes any sense. I there's, think that's not that show. show. No. That's why I find it so confusing. That the show you're thinking about with all the cats is uh, Skippy. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you know the and show then, I'm talking about? <laughs> Skippy the bush kangaroo. Yes. We did you still have that thing? Yeah. We have this thing. I remembered when I was a kid in Scotland at the same time Wait, as your this mother. Is real? Okay. Right. There was a sh a show that they imported from Australia called Skippy the bush kangaroo. And I made them find it on the internet, and here it is. Look. Isn't that a fantastic song? Doesn't that make it? you want to live in Australia? It does. Yeah. Makes me... It's such a lovely, wholesome thing. It makes me want to live in Australia in the 1960s. Yeah. Unless it's that film with Meryl Streep where the dingo ate the baby, which I actually only just saw recently. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think the dingo ate that kid there. No. I think he's fine. <laughs> Not until after that episode. No, he's protected by Skippy, the bush okay. kangaroo. That he protected you from dingoes. Oh. Yeah, because the dingoes all had mustaches and wore fedoras. <laughs> <laughs> but I, Mike, how you doing? Yeah. Can That's I eat your baby? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> They're really charming, though. What Austra Australians? Do you the like dingoes? With oh, the, the dingoes. Yeah. Well, we're yeah. out of time. <laughs> do you like Doctor Who? Yeah. Oh, there you are then. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that new one that he's doing? What, the new Doctor the, Who? He's no, my no. old friend, Peter. Oh. Peter Capaldi, who's the new Doctor yes. Who. Yes! I used to be in a Play band with him. With I took acid with that guy. Oh, my God! I know! You went to rehab where I used to live in England. Really? In Surrey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Farm Place in Surrey. Yes. It, what is it? Is it in Farnham? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. near Farnham, yeah. Yeah. I was in Easter and then... Really? Right well, I was, I was yeah. right there. I was one of the people that was only allowed to walk up to the gate and back. Yeah. <laughs> I did a I did a retreat in Wales once. A retreat? What yeah, you mean well, a it retreat? was it was like a meditation, silent, but it wasn't because of the drugs. It was just for fun. <laughs> I was just. <laughs> oh yeah, well, stick around. Let's get you through a few more steps and see <laughs> if you still think that way. It was to um, it was to watch the sheep. There were a lot of sheep in the fields around, and you'd meditate, and then this sounds so dodgy on every level. <laughs> I just... I like it. I like the idea of just watching sheep. Yeah. <laughs> Filling silences. Talking oh, about... Oh, one, 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 we have to... We're done. We're out of time. We have okay. to... Awkward pause or meditation. We don't have any sheep, unfortunately, so... Yes. Um, awkward pause imagining sheep. Okay. Three minutes over.